I need a holiday, somewhere warmer than London, which is where I live. So I go into my local travel agents, they're called Intermediate Value Travel, which doesn't inspire a lot of confidence, but still. And I say, where have you got that's warmer than London right now? Well, he says, there's the equator. If you go due south from London right now, the temperature is a balmy 30 degrees Celsius, 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, I say, maybe that's a bit too warm. Where have you got that's not quite as warm as the equator, but still warmer than London? Well, he says, if you continue to go due south, uh, I can find you somewhere on the same latitude as London. That is between the equator and the South Pole. That's your ideal holiday temperature. In fact, I'll bet you 10 pounds I can find you somewhere due south of the equator. That's your ideal holiday temperature. Well, OK, I say, I guess that's quite a good bet. How can he know that unless he has some kind of universal travel agent thermometer? No, he says, I'm going to prove it to you just using maths. OK, so he says, so the equator is too warm for you. Yes, I say. And how about the South Pole? He says, well, that's too cold. I say, OK, so he says, so between the equator and the South Pole is somewhere that's the ideal temperature. And if you're sailing due south, you're not going to suddenly go through a sudden change in temperature like opening a fridge door. So I think we can agree the temperature varies continuously. OK, yes, I say. So he says, if you're going from hotter than London to colder than London, you must pass through a point that's the same temperature as London. OK. And by the same logic, he says, if you're passing from the equator to this point that's the same temperature as London, then you must at some point pass through a place that has the ideal temperature for you, warmer than London, but colder than the equator. OK. I'm forced to admit that he's right. Although, looking at the globe, it looks like that ideal point would be somewhere in the South Atlantic. So I get my tenor out saying, you know, that's really very clever. In fact, you should have a mathematical theorem based on that. You could call it the intermediate value theorem. Not so fast, he says. Do you want to make another bet? If you win, you keep your tenor. If you lose, you have to book your holiday through me. OK, I say, what's the bet? Well, he says, I bet you I can prove to you there are two points on the equator that are exactly opposite each other and exactly the same temperature. Well, this is a great bet, I think. I win my tenor back, because even if you had a universal travel agent thermometer, how could you possibly prove that there were two points at exactly the same temperature? Go for it, I say. Well, he says, you, you tell me, you pick any random point on the equator, and you tell me, is the point directly opposite you hotter or colder? OK, I say, it's, it's hotter. Right, he says, now imagine me standing at that point that's directly opposite you and hotter. So from my point of view, looking back at you, is the point opposite me hotter or colder? Well, obviously, I say, that's where I am. So if you're hotter, I'm colder. So the point opposite you is colder. Right, he says, good. So if you set off and travel round the equator towards the point where I am, he says, at some point, the point opposite you goes from being a point that's hotter to a point that's colder. And because we've already established that temperature is something that varies continuously, at some point you must pass through a point where your opposite goes from being hotter to being colder. And that point is at exactly the same temperature as wherever you are. I'm forced to admit this is true. I lose the bet. And that's why this year I'm taking my holiday on a boat somewhere in the South Atlantic. Oh! <laughs>